And it's the Blue Ribbon event. Who is going to be on the top step of the podium? They're ready to race. Green like Chris Dobson gets a great start. That'll be a big relief after the promise of Solberg. He's on the clean line. He's clearly into turn one first. Lobe up alongside Ericsson. Chris Dobson goes straight in and Lobe straight into the joker lap. Both the Peugeots have gone into the joker lap. Lobe hasn't done that very well and that's held Timmy Hansen up as well, I think. What do you think about that, David? Timmy Hansen got a great start from the back of the grid. He caught up the cars, kept himself. He decided he was going jogger. I don't think he thought Lobe was going in with him, Andrew. Maybe they'd set the tactics up before. Either way, this is exactly what Kenneth was hoping for, is that they would be able to slot in. He said, earlier maybe we can do something in the first half lap unfortunately there wasn't enough contact in turn one because i think they were hoping these guys would be slowed down yes very sure and now what they're going to have to hope for is the back of him onto the back of christopherson and then really panic harass him a little him. bit harass him make them two go slower and allow the two Peugeots to catch up but they are catching so the Peugeot's coming up towards the back of the train ericsson and baumanis the rear of those four there's little gaps between them both the per maybe Peugeot decided to send the two cars together they had completely contrasting driving styles on the way in they ride the curb fully Christopherson leading from Bakker Bakker is able to go with them at the minute Kevin Eriksson gets the fastest reaction time he picks up the Monster Energy Supercharge Award at home in Sweden as he blasts down the hill chasing those two in front of him Bakker and Christopherson we're going to need to see the gaps in just a minute to see what we think about the chances of anybody being able to make it if they joker now are the Peugeots closing or are they losing time? Will they be able to get one of those two cars onto the podium? They are absolutely bumper to bumper, the two Peugeot at the back of this field. But look at the gap that Christopson's got already. Christopson fastest lap of the day, David. Unfortunately, Loeb's actually dropped nearly a second off the back of Christopherson on that last lap. Now, all right, they took the jogger, they're coming back out. So let's see if we can just get a clean run and if they're going to change it a bit. They've got Baumannis already, so Baumannis drops back behind. That would suggest to me that they'll probably get Ericsson as well. So they might get one of the two cars at least onto the podium. Through the left-hander up at Velodrome, they're chasing so hard. David Binks is keeping an eye on the times for us to see whether they're growing or not. Have a look at the top left corner of your screen. You've got live timing at home as well if you want it. Christopherson into the hairpin. There he is, absolutely, only blinks on the straight. So you go, pull a few gears, have a couple of blinks, and then it'll be eyes wide as he sends the car through that fast right-hander into the left again, sticks to the standard lap. Behind him, Ericsson's gone joker. Kevin Ericsson goes joker. There's that a response to what's going on behind. The dust flies up. Kevin's going to chuck it out through. So close to the barrier, but he's not close enough. And the two Persians have got past Kevin Ericsson as well. Can they get back a route? Christopherson just putting two laps off the trot within a hundredth of a second of each other. I mean, that is just phenomenal that he can put in consistent lap times whilst under pressure in a final of a World RX. Absolutely brilliant driving from Christopherson. He wants this, doesn't he? He's leading this World Championship. He wants to win the big trophy at the end of the year he said you just have to take it race by race he's just got this one race to go to decide his fate he's desperate for it look at the gap he's got from backward already it's massive when's backward gonna go is he gonna respond to the Peugeots or not Christopherson just went another hundredth quicker than his last lap absolutely brilliant absolutely fantastic driving from this man you know again have a little look at how calm he is you wouldn't think there was 600 horsepower in there and the kind of g-forces which he's got has a little look in the mirror, tiny little glance. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's ahead. You, sometimes you'd use the actual side windows. You know, you, you're trying to watch where you, the other competitors are without focusing too much on it and slowing yourself down. A little look in the mirror through Velodrome's a good place to look, isn't it? You've got the, the altitude of the track there helping you to see what's going on. Loeb has now managed to gap Hansen as those two try to chase these guys down. Christopherson will have to joker now. Nobody's going to be anywhere near him. He throws the VW Polo in. Bakarud goes with him. Can these two come out in front of the Peugeots? Or have the Peugeots found enough space to nick a place off Bakarud? It's super close behind them, but Bakarud holds on to P2. Very, right. very smooth driving by Bakker. At the end of the day, he knew he couldn't get on the gas too quick, put it too sideways. He's just having to feather it through that last bit of the jogger to get a good run back out and get out in front of the loop. Johan Christofferson, he leads the World Rally Cross Championship. He is on a run of seven finals. And coming across the line, he's going to take his second win in a row and his sixth podium in a row. It's a brilliant result for the leader of the World Rally Cross Championship. Absolutely fantastic. Outside the common tradition, we can see a pass between Hansen and Ericsson. But it is all about this man, Johan Christofferson. What a season he is having. Those stats are absolutely incredible. And he has done it at home in Sweden.